of ice box. <clears throat> All right, welcome back, everyone, to more uh, Gear of the Day Gron and stuff. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a short, uh, short session. Uh, probably won't be finishing this home world today because it's like 1 a.m. for me, so probably only been recording for about an hour, if that, and just doing what, what we can here, but... Goodness uh, gracious, just... Harry, why'd you... why'd you just... why we started so late? Uh, I... I don't know. You know, aside from me holding off, but... Yeah, goodness. Well, I wanted, wanted to do at least a little bit today. Uh, I was... At the time of this recording, um, I've uh, done all of the Kinemats 2 editing, and um... I'm try I'm trying to not I I'm trying to do the editing for this playthrough a bit uh, more a bit closer to when we actually do them because Hey of, it's Hannah Yeah. Because Aspire 2 was edited like a while after we did it did it. Good times. Yeah. No time for the motion sickness. Yeah. Uh but yeah, this uh, ho this home world, um, like we've been having issues with, um, doesn't have the proper music it's supposed to have, because appar apparently, like either the uh, this is just a uh, a bad copy of the Platinum Hits for, uh, version, or the Platinum Hits version in general just do doesn't have a lot of the music it's supposed to. Um, but yeah, this is meant to be a much calmer theme than it than just using the first home world screen which yeah I don't know. Uh, so how about how about reignited trilogy being delayed? <laughs> hopefully this hopefully it's for the best and Toys for Bob will have a time it needs, because I do not want to enter a dragonfly scenario. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> uh, the heck? Hmm? It's like it took a while for Spot to ram into that. Yeah. <laughs> that jar. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do this to get an egg. And the dragon is appropriately named Jonah. Yeah. Bible reference or whatever. Yeah. What do you think about like this home world and stuff? It's nice. And the whales, at least I'm used to the gag. Yeah. And yeah, but again, this game loves cracked walls for some reason. Stooby. Do you remember what the actual like music is supposed to, supposed to be here? Huh? No, because I had the I had the vanilla version on PSN, so it played this. Oh, okay. I remember it being pretty uh, calm, actually. It's like. I remember, uh, it's, uh, basically, it's, like, it's, it sounds similar to a Spyro 2 homeworld, but with an actual, like, song tied to it. Mm. And it's, uh, quite peaceful, I like it. Alright. Still a lot of stuff we need to get up here. You have a. What would you play? Um, you have a PS4, right? You would uh, play Reignite on, on the PS4, right? Or would you get it on something Hi else? Again, this power PS4. Can make you invincible, okay. but only for yeah. a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. You'll find an egg when you get past. Them. I think that when it comes to like Crash and Spyro, it just feels weird playing the games without the dual dual shock control um, layout. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, I'm probably gonna have to um, suck it up with the Enter the Dragonfly because I, if I want to play the slightly better version, I'm gonna have to use the GameCube. That's the one version I owned. I can't remember which version I grew up with, to be honest. There we go. And this should be the last egg. Head. Head. Rain scratch. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, so, um... Something that happens in this home world after a point is that, uh, Hunter's gonna get, uh, captured. Um, pretty much. And when that happens, you can't do any of the minigames that Hunter's in. So what we're gonna do, uh, what we're gonna do first is um, do the levels that I know Hunter's in. So um, <coughs> we'd have to backtrack to them later. I kn I know he's in this level, and then uh, after this we'll do the speedway. I don't know if he's in any other levels though, so I have to look something up. But yeah, the crabs back from Aquaria Towers from the second game. I need to go order some food. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna uh, eat, eat something after we're done with this. Why does this song remind me of Fracture Hills? Uh, a little bit, I guess. I'd much rather I I'd much rather play this level uh, than Fracture Hills though. <laughs> it's not one of my it's probably not one of my favorite levels in this game, but yeah. Alright. Look, it's fine enough. It has an interesting uh, look to it. I think is it I forget like the date exactly if they've given one, but it's like November I think, so we don't really have to rush the uh, this playthrough anymore, but I'd, I'd like to get it done so uh, yeah, I need uh, after this is done I I need to break from Spyro. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can use the, those boxes and spit them back out, but uh, I'd rather I'm I'd much rather just take uh, take them out head on, to be honest. I don't mind the spitting mechanic too much in these games, but kind of slows the pace a bit. So I'd like to avoid doing it if I can, if I can help it. Uh, session, um, some interesting stuff was going on with, uh, with Bianca, and she's like really the only character in this in the trilogy that has no like noteworthy character development. Really. Uh, Wait, what about that X marks the spot thing? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, but, um... Yeah, I guess, like... The most the other games got was, like, Spyro 1, I guess. It was, like... Um... Spyro, uh... Like, becoming a hero, I guess, or something. Like, because, like, the, the dragons con constantly going go on about, uh... Are you gonna achieve your... Destiny or all this other stuff. Um, it doesn't really mean much in the grand scheme of things, but it's a thing, I guess. Uh, uh, Spyro 2, I guess, Hunter learns to trust Spyro. And they, uh, like, become friends and all that. Aww. Yay. Got our baby dragons. Yeah, I'm wondering how that death animation for the crabs is gonna look in HD, because they might have to tone that down. Oh, yeah, because they, they just get... They just, just shatter into bits. I would like it, uh, speaking of, like, Reignite, I hope one of the things they, uh, do is, uh, put all three games on disc. Also, um, this is a... Th this is very easy to forget, forget about. This is a secret here. But yeah, I... I would like them to put all the games on my disc. I think there's something in this mouth here. Oh. What happened? I'm not I'm not too big of a fan of this minigame. Used to be my favorite diving spot. Uh, but I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling around. Think you can pilot this here sub I bought for scrap? Alrighty then. I'll press the X button to speed on up. And when you get a sub in your sights, the torpedo will start to lock on. If you get a good lock on, fire away with the circle button. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Uh... I, I don't necessarily hate this minigame or anything like that, but... Um, it's a little bit... It can be a little bit uh, tedious trying to chase them down. And uh, you have to do this twice, I think. There's like two rounds to this. And... I don't know, there's not much to say about it. Again, this is not one of my favorite levels, by any means. Sometimes they're like hiding in the tunnels a lot. this I <clears throat> I don't remember this mission at all oh <laughs> uh, well we have to get we to do this again at the end of the game I think and I like it a, uh, a bit more there because the uh, subs much faster Sometimes I feel like you have to go into the tunnels for the other guys to load. I don't know if that's true, but it feels like that sometimes. Uh, didn't you say, uh, I remember like last night, uh, didn't you say like there was like some kind of power ranges problem going on? Ah uh, yes, uh, power morphicon it's going on, like right now actually. And so... Uh, well, well, darn, well you got some mean hold up. Sub why don't you have this here egg as a reward? Ethel, that sounds like a name you'd find of a young southern lady. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I hate to ask your help again, but there'd be even more subs that darn come out of nowheres. If you could blast them, I could use this acid leg as my swimming hole again. What the heck? Uh, yeah, how he's... Like, is she... If you try uh, swimming in the acid, uh, you you just 
immediately die pretty much. I don't know how he survives. But he must have like skin made of steel or something. Also, I think if you get hit at all, uh, you, your sub just blows up and you have to restart. So, okay, you know what? Now I think I, rem I remember this now. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, same song and dance. They just, they just like uh, occasionally shoot mines out like that. But yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. So you said about like the Power Rangers thing. Um, yeah, it's going on today, ends on Sunday, and they'll show off a new cast for the ne next series. Oh, I didn't know there was a new uh, series uh, happening. Uh, when's that, gonna, when's that um, starting? Uh, probably February next year. Okay, are they, what are they said about it? Um, it's gonna be about spies, technically, or at least its Japanese counterpart will, was. And it will be the last one produced under Saban. <clears throat> yeah, Hasbro owns Power Rangers now. So. Yeah. How many? How many? Uh, like, like versions have there been? About. What were you saying, Harry? I was just asking, like, how many versions of the series that have, or Power Rangers have there, has there been like, over the years? We're currently on season 25. Oh, good, good world. Except this acid. I I reward you better, <laughs> but all I got left is this here other egg. Maybe there'll be something better in this one. Right, let me just check to make. Uh. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to check our audio balance. Alright. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to just. Get, uh, swim around here pretty fast to get all these gems. I mean, it doesn't matter too much if you die, because dying in this game doesn't really uh, do much to hold pro uh, progression, but yeah. Just go to the gate every now and then. Uh, but anything uh, else that's happened at the uh, convention? Um, I don't really know they'll have any live streams up until Sunday. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> just going by, like, word of mouth right now? Yeah, that and the convention schedule they had listed. They usually just do a lot of panels for alumni. Okay. And there's a lot of alumni from that franchise. <laughs> So we, uh, we finished um, the, the second Sparks level yesterday, uh, not yesterday, uh, but, uh, last time, and um, it gives us the Treasure Finder ability, which is very helpful, especially... Okay. No! Ah, dang it. Yeah, instant death. Yeah, uh, treasure finder makes things um, a lot more man manageable now, especially for uh, these um, subsections. So we don't have to worry about uh, missing gems or anything anymore. So it's pretty sure. It, there can sometimes still be issues of figuring out where Sparks is even looking, but yeah. I had issues with that when I was doing this for the seas run, and then I figured figured out that he was pointing towards the uh, secret area, uh, 
that we went that we went to after going through the through the acid here. As much as I'm not the biggest fan of this level, I do think this is a cool idea. Uh, like, actually, get to this point, you can um, swim in the acid and find some secret areas and stuff. Uh, this might have, yeah, that, that, this is a bad idea. <laughs> oh gosh, getting flashbacks to what they call Lethal Lava Land. Oh yeah. At least you don't. At least Spyro doesn't scream at the top of his lungs every time. I'm surprised Spyro doesn't grunt much in these games. He really do yeah, he really doesn't, like, say anything when he gets hurt or anything. Uh, did we really not miss anything there? Uh, I guess not. I'll be right back. Alright. Uh, let's check this acid one more time. Okay, here we go. We've got some more, more gems. I think we're good when it comes to the acid, uh, but I mean, if we're, if we're not, then hopefully Sparks will guide us. Sparks will guide you. <laughs> to him. In before, like your gem is like stuck in a wall. This way first. Or is this? No, that's just nothing. That's just a way out. Normal way out. Uh, what do you think about this level? Alright. Yeah. <laughs> that basically sums it up. There's nothing inherently wrong about it. But it's not really one I think about when I when it comes to Spyro 3. Yeah, the color scheme, even the color scheme kind of reminded me of Fracture Hills to, a, to an extent. Yeah, I can kind of see that. That, I don't, that level gives me trauma. <sighs> I think it's a, it's like a similar feel to Fracture Hills, but I think it looks more interesting, like visually. We hated that level, we had like nothing nice to say about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I like the I like the fonts there. Yeah. It's like was it has the stage has annoyed mini games, it didn't look very nice. Uh, the the skill point uh, is annoyingly stressful to get if a little bit cool. Uh, was it was it the um, the music that uh, got on our nerves? Uh, Aside from the bagpipe. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the guys with the bagpipes. Like, they, that was annoying as well. It's really like, I can't remember. Yeah, there's really not a lot of good things I can say about that level. Dang, Spyro's got crabs now. <laughs> yeah, those guys are really fast. You give them the chance to attack. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I wouldn't. Hmm. I'm out to. I'm out to think about this, but I. I don't think any levels in Spyro 3 really reach the the level of like Fracture Hills or or um Shady Way Shady Oasis. Um, but. 
Well, most, most of Fracture Hills, because uh, Shadow Ice is, is more annoying due to the backtracking side of it, but... Yeah, I don't think a lo there's a level like that in Spyro 3 that's, like, super, super obnoxious. But there, there's, there's sections that can be really annoying. Uh, but... Yeah, it's for, like, a full level. I don't think there's something like that here. I could be misremembering, I don't know. I might, um, have to, might have to rethink that later. What are you saying? <laughs> yeah, I'd say most of the levels themselves, the individual levels themselves are alright. Like, yeah. some annoying missions, but not really any overall terrible levels. Yeah. Because, like, the level... I might as well say it because uh, we've already talked about it a few times, but... Uh, the actual level that uh, holds Bentley Boxing is actually really good, but the, you know, a Bentley Bro, Boxing just, just makes it, like, just skateboard gang is dims it down a bit. A they said you're slower than a molten crater fire oh, slug. phone noises. I stuck up for you, though. Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> pretty fast fire slugs. I just, I had to set, get my order in for food. Yeah, okay. What are you having? Right on. You can Fried rice and chicken with my vegetables. Every okay. time you do a trick, it builds up turbo charge. You can use your turbos at any time. Yeah, but this is the, the first button. instance of Good using luck. the skateboard for a race. Uh, a race. Um, I think I know it happens at least one more time after this, but uh, basically what happens is uh, the uh, the um, what's it the. The tricks you do now uh, gives you a boost. Um, like, it gives you a boost on the meter there. <laughs> uh, and uh, again, the more the more tricks you do in one on one jump, the more the more the meter is gonna go up. And like like how it works with the um, the the points in the other the other two skateboard sections. Like if you do. Um, if you keep doing like one trick over and over again, it's not going to give you as much uh, boost power anymore. Is there any point to the crabs being there? Uh, you have. There's a. Um, you have to race Hunter later, and you have to beat him while killing all the crabs. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this one's pretty. Th this uh, race here is pretty easy. Unless you just do that. <laughs> uh, I, I do... Racing, uh, doing the skateboard races is quite fun, but the last one you have to do is, like... Uh, it's arguably, like, the hardest challenge in the game. Like, not... They're not counting Bentley Boxing, because that's... That's, like... That's more down to luck than anything. Yeah, this one ain't too bad though. Even when you like fail like that. <laughs> uh. Yes, you schooled them like a bunch of dizzy one-toed sand norks. Oh yeah. What? I guess we want this <laughs> egg too. Did we mention how? Uh, how was it? How was oh, it? a dork. That too. Uh, but. Um, now that the Rhinox are gone, do you want to Something try a sure, Dragon Shores in the second fast, game is like run by um, all the crabs on the like Norks, like a uh, nasty Norks race. race, pretty much. Give it a shot? Yeah, we mentioned it towards the end of the Let's Play. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Like, I, like when you play Paper Mario, you're just used to the mooks having friendly ranks. Yeah. I like that. I mean, even like 3D Mario is like doing, like, kind of doing that with the, um. I mean, it always kind of did that with, uh, Cooper the Quick, I guess. And the bomb buddies. Yeah. Yeah. Why like, are they pink? No one knows. They really. Like, the only other time they, um. have, like, Bob on bodies is, like. Now Galaxy 2? Uh, with the uh, throwback Galaxy? But then that's just Mario 64 again, pretty much. So I don't know. Uh, did you get the crab? 
Right, uh, no, I missed. I missed the first one. He's got a free lap, so you can afford to miss them a few times. Or, like, two times. Yeah, I... <laughs> the, I'm sorry, does Hunter destroy some of them for you? Yeah, I... I, I doubt that, like, he's, like, intentionally going for them, but, like, he can actually kill... What the? Yeah, he can actually kill crabs for you in accounts. Which is hilarious. Alright. Hilarious. Yeah, that, oh. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get that. Oh yeah, but like, uh, there's the same uh, star, uh, same star rings uh, from, the, from the speedways, so same, same thing happens here with them. I'm hoping the last crab is in the, um, the section that I keep, uh, I keep messing up. That didn't give me that much. There you go. <laughs> oh, that was that was kind of tight. <laughs> Sheesh! I can't believe you beat me. You must have been practicing the whole time I thought you were looking for eggs. Hey, speaking of which, like you? one of those crabs yeah. was guarding this one. I, I like I like how uh, these mini games are just like, oh, let's uh, race or uh, like uh, all these all this other uh, excuse me all this other stuff, and then just say, I just conveniently found an egg after that. <laughs> Uh, but we still got gems to look for, so it's gonna be a bit awkward. Cause I I've never been too big of a fan of like tr finding gems in, in these sections, just because of the nature of them. They're not designed for this. There's also a skill point here as well that's easy to forget about. I think you just have to um, beat the, beat the um, uh, course in a set time. Oh really? Yeah, I I, I don't know how, I don't know what the time is exactly, but yeah, it's not too. I don't remember it being too bad. I think I got every skill point in the game. I think, and I don't remember doing that. Okay. Maybe, I, maybe I got my brother to do it. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> what the heck is Woo! this? That was the that was amazing. Okay. Alright. Uh. Foreshadowing for Enter the Dragonfly. Um. Man, I amazing thing. That, that, this wall is just messed up. Like, why is it like that? <laughs> Ooh. Like, it, it's, I'm, I'm barely even trying to do that. I just kind of jump towards the side of the wall and it just makes me go flying up. Like, where is Sparks looking? That's a... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's looking over there. I guess it's like... Let's just loop around. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I've been watching a um, Enter the Dragonfly playthrough of this style. And, uh. Yeah! Go Sparks! He doesn't seem to be looking anywhere else, so I think that's it. Uh, but, like. Um. The, the guy, um. Like. Fell. Like, what was it? Tried, tried hovering, and then let me just quit this. Uh, uh, tried hovering to get to a platform, and then he kind of got stuck under it. So then he just fell down into a pit, and Sparrow just went f like, <laughs> you know how when you fall in these games, like Sparrow has like a like a 
animation and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that happened. And then Sparrow went up. And, uh, Sparrow just went flying up. <laughs> so it was just like, I need to go. My planet needs me. And then it still counted as a death. So it's still, it's still just a transition. And send what? him somewhere else. It was funny. Can't wait for shenanigans like that. Dang it. Yeah, I don't know how. Wait, did it just did it just send you ahead? Uh, we're about the same area, so not not really. Why is it not giving me any boost? It should at least give me a little bit. That's oh. not good. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Steam geography. Yeah, once you get like a good rhythm going, these can actually be really fun. Don't know why I'm still like, holding on to that. Dang it. I got greedy. <laughs> Uh, you know, this is a bit young, a bit rusty. Oh, please be good enough. Oh, okay, cool. Congratulations! Yay! Alright. Still have gems missing. Somewhere around here. Wait. I think, I think this is a different acid pool. How can you tell? They all look the same. <laughs> well, I mean, because uh, this is an area that uh, that's like separate from the normal path. I don't know how we're supposed to get up here in time, though. Uh, where are you looking exactly? Over here. That side. I didn't even notice that. Oh, well, we've been up here before, so I knew it was gonna show up. Now I'm reminded of that Flying Dutchman's Graveyard level in Spongebob, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh, I've never played that game. It's a bare Spiral Ford in Spiral 4. Oh, it's just a random gem over here. So, nice. <laughs> yeah! Oh, man. Thank goodness for draw distance. Yeah, or lack thereof. <laughs> Can you think of a modern game that has draw dis distance issues? I don't play enough modern games. Mm. Is uh, yeah, that man can be an issue uh, when your main purpose is like purpose in the game is to collect stuff.